Jerry Bond, and I'm recording on an Android phone a short demo on how to set up a data collection app that follows the method in my Urban Tree Health book, which is available on Amazon. Now, why would you want to do this? Manual paper entry is fine for a few trees, but in production situations, electronic method offers faster and more reliable results. This app is only for Android phones where we can take advantage of an excellent database app that is very easy to understand and use. Any basic Android phone should work. There's lots out there. I use a cheap um, phone as a dedicated data collector. I bought it for under $200. It's ruggedized. It runs Android 9, which is a couple of versions old. And it's a good device, although the camera is only fair. So let's start by getting the database. We're going to go to Google Play. And we're going to type in Memento. Actually, I already was here, so I'll just type Memento Database. And there it is. And we're going to click Install. Okay, now it's installed, so we're going to go ahead and open up the application. This application, by the way, is free, but it's going. If you can, uh, if you're going to use it a lot, then I urge you to go ahead and upgrade to support the developer and to get rid of the advertisements. So now we're at, now the application wants us to give access to our storage so it can store things, and we're going to allow that. And we have to accept an agreement. Okay, now I'm opened up to the main screen, and I'm going to click on the Memento database icon, and we have nothing in there. Uh, to get something, to get the template that we want to use, we're going to click in the middle that link that says Add Library. Once there at the top, click on Online Library, Online Catalog. And we're going to search, search for my name, Bond. And there's Urban Tree Health right at the top there. So we're going to download that, tap on it, down right corner, download that for local use. And then we want to create the library up at the top. So we're just going to go check, create that library. Now it's showing us the contents of that library. There's nothing there. At the top, it's showing you about one way to do storage that I'll come back to. So um, to open up, to create a new entry, we're going to use that blue circle down there. And... Uh, here we are. This is the create. This is the entry itself. Is we're in front of one tree, and we're going to add that. We usually want to record some way of the site or an address. I'm going just going to call it GGG, and the tree number or some distance direction, whatever system you use. I'm going to say this is tree number one, and then following that, you will see the five parameters that are laid out in Urban Tree Health Book. Uh, each of them has a pull-down menu, which makes data entry very easy. And for each of them, there is a quick reminder of what that parameter is about. So ratio means the ratio of the live crown size with tree height, opacity, etc. Okay. So then you would go through and locate each of those. Shoot extension, these are in inches, 0 to 2, 2 to 4, etc., um, that's why you do that. And then you have the option of taking a picture down near the bottom. It's very helpful even on a, if it's decent lighting, even on a not very good camera, it's helpful to have an image sometimes with your record. And then finally at the bottom, there's a very, very helpful help, a very, very good help section for Memento Database. That's the URL down there. I don't know if you can actually tap it. I'm not going to try right now, but I think you probably could. Once you're done there, I usually edit it, make sure I've got it the way I want to, and then I create my entry. Now we're still inside the library, and it says that this Urban Tree Health Library has one entry uh, called GGG. I'm going to take a look at it, um, 
and I say I'm doing this and I go, oh no, I have the shoot growth, the shoot extension is way too, too large. So I click up in the right corner on the pencil and edit it. And I meant to say four to six. There, that's better. And then I'll click the check mark and now I have a corrected, uh, a corrected file. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, it works pretty well and it's very easy to do. How do you, uh, once you've done that, what, how do you store things? How do you save it? There's three ways. One is we saw that sign to Memento Cloud. And if I exit out of this, uh, sorry, let's go back here. It once leaves me where I was. Um, I can tap this Hamburg and I can click on Cloud Storage and I can store it in the cloud. That's, that's in Memento's cloud. There's a certain amount of storage there, but if you use it very much, you'll have to buy some more. And so that's one way to do it that's very simple. A second way is to, uh, let me tap on this. Um, a second way is to, uh, oh, I have to be in it, sorry. Let me open this up. Is to tap on these this three dots and um, import and export. I'm going to export. I usually use the first entry linked to Google Sheets because I use Google Drive a lot and Google Sheets. And that just uploads everything to Google Sheets. And after you've done it the first time, it will automatically do that after you've finished field work as soon as it gets Wi-Fi access. And you can also, number three, you can export it as a comma separated values file. Um, and uh, you're just gonna, you can name it as you want, but we'll put this, uh, save it here. Uh, and there it is, and that's nice because you can you can pass that around to a spreadsheet or whatever locally. So that's how you export. Okay, one final thing, and then we're done. Is you what if you want to change the way that library is set up? Uh, there's a couple of ways, but I usually click these three dots right there and go to edit. And here you have the fields that are in there. Uh, and for instance, say you wanted to change location one, you were always going to be using address. So you click on that and you change that. ADR address and then edit field. Now you have an address and you could also, you could change this and say, if you wanted to go, once you know how you're going to be doing it, uh, we could say tree number tree number and save that. So now you've added it a little bit for your own use and that's how you do it and you click edit library and you're all done. Okay, well good luck. I hope you hope you try it out. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you another time.